break vibrations can occur at different frequencies. For different frequencies, we have different names. Below 300 Hz, it is called judder. With higher frequencies, we call it squeal, squeak or ultrasound, which cannot be heard. All vibrations are resonances at the natural frequency of the brake system. Most people are aware that brake squeal or squeak are caused by vibration. Brake judder is the vibration felt through the steering wheel and suspension when the brakes are applied at certain speeds and pressures. Judder has a deep sound with frequency below 300 Hz. Probable causes are poor tolerances, poor fitment to the hub, excessive disc thickness variation or disc damage. The solution is to replace the disc, then clean and lubricate all surfaces of the brake assembly according to the vehicle manufacturer's instructions. Squeal is a noise with a frequency in the range of 300 to 500 Hz. It can be caused by a sticky caliper piston, uneven working surface of the disc, pad fitting errors, incorrect placement of anti-noise shims, or the disc thickness is too low. It can be solved by cleaning and lubricating the components of the caliper, ensuring disc surfaces stay within a tolerance of 0.1 millimeters. Squeak is a noise with a frequency higher than 5 kilohertz. The most common reason for a squeak is a molecular vibration within the friction material during application to the brake disc. The solution is to replace the brake pad set. Also, check that the accessories are correct and properly fitted. There are three main causes of brake judder. The first is disc runout. Disc runout can be caused by a badly fitted brake disc, rust or contamination on disc fitting surfaces, distorted disc. Brake judder can be caused by the disc overheating, resulting in disc warping. Apart from the visual warping, you can see blue discoloration after overheating. Overheating is generally caused by abuse, damage, installation errors. Brake judder can be caused by disc thickness variation or DTV. This can only be recognized using a special vernier caliper or micrometer. DTV results from uneven wear, often caused by a seized caliper or pad mechanism and uneven brake wear causing hard spots. The appearance of the friction surfaces can give a good indication as to the cause of noise problems. Remove the pads and examine the friction surfaces to analyze potential problems. Refer to the trouble tracer for more information about such problems. The easiest way to avoid issues is to ensure that the brake pads and caliper are correctly reassembled. Make sure you come back to Garage Guru's CSI to see how we explain more warranty claims. We are Garage Gurus. Join our community, follow us on social media. Thanks for watching this video. The video description contains all the relevant links. Don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and be notified when we post new content. Also, check out our Garage Gurus online course catalog.